for our existing patients, we have awesome refill specials. Call us today at Well, hey, this is Adam, and welcome back to Rare Classic Cars. Today I thought I would get out the 67 Eldorado. I won the best in the class at the Eyes on Design Show in Gross Point, Michigan on Father's Day. And this may be my favorite designed car that I owned. It's, as I mentioned, a 1967. It's super rare. It only has 18,000 miles on it. Original black paint and original red leather interior, which just think it's so cool. Beautiful condition car, has a number of options, AM FM radio, automatic climate control, tilt telescope wheel, power door locks, cruise control, automatic headlamp dimming, automatic headlamp turn on or twilight sentinel. Let's see if I can get it to zoom in there. Does not have the power windows in the back. In 67 only, the manual crank windows were standard, as you can see there. And you crank it, and it goes into the sail panel here, as opposed to retracting downward. The Lincolns also did something similar at the time. This is a one-year-only interior, one-year-only door panels as well. With an interesting way of closing the door, you reach into this pocket here, this flocked pocket, it's actually nicely lined, and that's how you close the door. Notice that there's a door handle on the front for the front passenger, and a door handle back here for the rear passenger to get out if he or she wants. And that's the same on the other side. There's also a door handle back there too. This car has vacuum door locks that you can see here. As opposed to electric, they operate pretty silently. And there's this emergency position on the window switch where you can push this button and operate it with the key off. If I just leave it like that, nothing happens, as you can see there. Lincoln did something similar. They called it the bypass setup. One of the early cars with tilt telescoping wheel, you move this over and then and move the steering wheel in or out however you want. This is the tilt lever to move it up and down. Car also has the trumpet horn option, which is four horns. Very authoritative train-like horn on this car. You definitely get out of the way if you hear it. Other Quirky features about this car, in 67, this is the only year where this air vent is inboard of this area of the IP. 68, they would move that over and this air vent would be outboard of it. Do you have a little reading light here that you can switch on? The power antenna raises and retracts by pushing or pulling the radio knob. Kind of a crazy way to operate. Another interesting feature of these is that there's no turn signal in the display here. You only have the turn signal indicators on the fender tips on either side when you operate the turn signal. In terms of interior lights, you do have lights. It's hard to see in the daylight here, but this is actually illuminated when you open the door. But interestingly, they don't illuminate both of those lights. It's only the door that's open where the light illuminates. You also have little lights down here, courtesy lights on either side. And strangely, you have two air vents, one upper, one lower. I don't know why you'd want to blow air down at your legs. 
And that's about all that that vent is good for. It's kind of goofy. You also have the interesting Cadillac dial accrues where you rotate this to the speed you want. Then you depress this button and it sets the cruise control. That was around Cadillacs for a number of years. Eh, strange, interesting, works. And you'll notice that my dash is a little bit corroded and pitted. That's very typical on these AC cars because especially ones that were operated in hot climates where the AC was used a lot. What happens is behind this, this is there's a plastic plexiglass piece here and then some, you get some air bleed around this air vent after you shut the air conditioning off and it puts humidity behind that glass and then does that to the instrument cluster. So I actually have a a instrument cluster from a non-AC 67 DeVille. I have the speedometer, I have the temperature gauge, I need a fuel gauge and a clock. So if anybody's got a fuel gauge and a clock, I'm waiting to get all the pieces before I take this apart and replace them so that I do it all at once. Let me know, email me, rareclassiccars at yahoo.com. This car also has three speed wipers, off, low, medium, and high. That was a Cadillac feature that persisted for a number of years as opposed to just two speed. Other companies had that, Chrysler had that, three speed wipers, but most of the other General Motors vehicles just had two speed wipers at the time. You do have the day-night mirror here that flips like that, and a good-sized ashtray, of course, for both driver and passenger so that you can smoke your way to the hospital. This car, because it's front wheel drive, has a flat floor, as you'll notice here, and a one piece floor mat. This was pretty novel for the time. You usually have this hump, but clearly there is no hump here. You do have really nice pedal trim on the accelerator pedal. This is hinged at the bottom and anchored there as opposed to some other GM divisions that used floating pedals. Glove box is pretty big and good sized, flocked as well, so it's lined. And I love how the carpeting goes all the way up there, the side of the door panel. I thought that that was just a neat, neat feature. You do have the lights in the sail panel, the courtesy lights. And you can see there, the back window has that kink in it. That's a etched line where they would put a hot wire in the middle of it and bend the glass to form it so that you got this V shape in it that would give the car some character. Let's go out front. 67 is the only year the Eldorado where there's this plug here, which is a die cast piece. This is stamped. And they had so many issues with this that in 68 they moved the turn signal up in here from the bumper. So 67s are the only year that look like that. And under hood, it's the only year where you have the Cadillac 429 V8 as opposed to the 472, which would come out in 68. Makes 340 horsepower. Pretty peppy overall. And that is the rear compressor for the level load shocks. This is also the heater control valve on this car. There's not a blend door, so to speak, where you gradually mix more hot air to control the temperature. It actually controls the coolant flow into the heater core. You can see the vacuum line going to it from the HVAC system inside. And Cadillac was smart. They made the blower easily accessible on these as opposed to having to take the fender liner out or the fender off. So it's pretty easy replacement, especially compared to other divisions. Also, the only year for the exposed wipers on the Eldorado, 68 would have hidden wipers and they'd have these so-called pork chops. 
here, but a beautiful trim piece that is a one year only and just gorgeous. This whole car is an absolute piece of art. Out back, you also have the exhaust outlets for the interior pressure vents. And you don't yet have the reverse light down here that would come in in a few years. The reverse lights are integrated in the bumper in 1967. So overall, just a super, super cool vehicle and hope you enjoyed this look at some strange features, quirks, etc. of this 67 Eldorado. Thanks for watching.